In other news tonight, Memorial High School's Dean of Discipline speaking out about his unique methods. In June, Port Arthur ISD announcing plans to hire someone to address student discipline at the school there. KFDM Jessica Crawford spoke with administrators and students who are weighing in on the impact just three weeks into the school year. Good morning, Ms. Pam. I was checking up on that status of that young man that we're going to meet with this morning. Memorial High School's Dean of Discipline is taking steps to address student behavior. Misbehavior in the classroom. Um, students not following teachers' directives. So far, Lorenzo Carr says he's noticed an improvement. A lot of that centers around maybe our sophomores who are new to our campus, so we're trying to get them acclimated to how we do things here at Memorial. And so far, so good. One of his methods, surprise visits. What are we doing today? What are we learning? When students sense that administrators are going to come into the classrooms and they're going to come into the classrooms unannounced, it tends to keep them on best behavior. Some students welcome it. When the teacher is talking, I want to like listen to her. I don't want any disruptions. You're trying to do your work and the teacher has to take time out of, you know, teaching to discipline a student. And now with the Dean of Discipline, I actually notice, you know, people actually changing. He also works with officers to make sure crime outside the school doesn't come inside, but some teens will still misbehave. The kid may have had a rough evening. Mother may not have been at home. Um, domestic violence or something of that nature. Some infractions are taken on a case by case basis. Others like drugs have a definite punishment every time. Carr says discipline is less about giving punishment and more about finding out what will help the student. Sometimes you just want to vent and I try to do that and we try to encourage all of our administrators and teachers take time to listen to the students okay and that makes a world for them. that means a difference. In Port Arthur. That's a good job there, Chief. Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News.